Don't Knock Twice is bound to draw comparisons to Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul, and for good reason. Both are VR horror games that are based on recent horror movies. But even in the gameplay department, you'll find more than just a few similarities. My first and biggest disappointment comes in the form of control. Both DualShock 4 and Dual Move controls are supported, and acclimating to either takes a bit of time, which is already endlessly frustrating. But even worse, neither one is implemented very well. The non-VR version has smooth turning and full locomotion, making its VR absence a complete mystery. But if you're the kind of gamer that struggled through paranormal activities, rough controls, and click turning, and managed to discover the awesome game hidden underneath, you'll undoubtedly eventually do the same here. In fact, this is basically paranormal activity all over again. Constantly wandering and backtracking through a house, figuring out which door you can open next, reading papers along the way to fill in a backstory, light puzzle solving, and a metric ton of jump scares. <laughs> Heck, you'll even be collecting items to scatter around the pentagram. Sound familiar? And even though the graphics here aren't quite as polished, there's a lot more to do. Items and rooms are much more interactive. I got lost a few times, wandered around in circles, and still managed to finish this one in about two and a half hours. It's another tough sell, especially with less than intuitive controls. But at $20, it's priced better than Paranormal Activity, and in my opinion, it's much scarier. So if you're a horror movie fan, and you love jump scares, Don't Knock Twice is totally worth your time. But for everyone else, you probably won't enjoy this one nearly as much as I did. <laughs> 